Notebook LM is Google's AI-powered note-taking app. In this video, I will show you how to upload a PDF file to Notebook LM and perform AI-powered analysis. First, go to notebooklm.google. Notebooklm.google. Notebook LM can serve as your virtual research assistant. It's powered by Gemini. Gemini is Google's most advanced artificial intelligence. Specifically, Notebook LM runs with Gemini Pro. So in Notebook LM, you can have up to 20 sources, and each source can have up to 200,000 words. So in total, you could analyze up to 4 million words with Notebook LM. To access Notebook LM, sign in with your Gmail account, then click Try Notebook LM. When you go to the Notebook LM page, they have some example notebooks, and then you have uh, the section here, Notebooks, where you can add a new notebook. Click the new notebook, name it, and then click Save. I did that earlier. I started this today. It's called Marketing 16, where I analyze Chapter 16 of a large marketing text. The textbook that I'm using here is Principles of Marketing from OpenStacks.org. I downloaded the PDF. of the entire book, which is 713 pages. I was interested in chapter 16, which related to uh, online marketing. So what I did there was using a free application, and this is from the Microsoft Store, PDF Merger and Splitter by Anyway Soft. PDF Merger and Splitter by Anyway Soft, available on the Microsoft Store. Um, I did split PDF, and then I selected uh, the pages corresponding to chapter 16. So then I opened the PDF file in Microsoft Word and did a word count. And this uh, this chapter 16 has 14,000 words, which is under the 20,000 word limit. which corresponds to actually 90,000 characters. But uh, Google uh, Google's Notebook LM uses uh, words as its measure of limitation. So it's 20,000 words per source, and you have 20 sources. So, so I'm under the 20,000 limit. 20,000, sorry, 200,000 words. Oh, I'm way below the limit. Google is very generous. So as a reference, uh, the first Harry Potter book is about, was about 77,000 words. So anyway, I, I, I wanted to focus on the chapter. Another reason why I, um, I isolated the chapter was because I, I didn't want it to get confused. Uh, by other chapters. So Notebook LM will only analyze the sources that you upload. So I only want to do chapter 16. I don't want stuff from the other chapters. That's why I, I only uh, uploaded one chapter. Now if you want to add additional sources, remember here it says you can upload up to 20 sources. What you do is under, if you see here on the left side, Add, you can click this plus sign here, sources plus sign, or you can just add source, and you can upload a file from Google Drive, you can upload a PDF, or you can upload copy text. In copy text, you can type in uh, stuff here or copy and paste stuff. Now, this is a, a very important thing here, is that, uh, actually, let's, let's do a copy text.
So notice here on the sources, the boxes in the lower right corner of each source box is unchecked right now. When then look at the uh, look at the chat conversation, and at the bottom it says zero sources. When there's zero sources, you can't type in the prompt box. So you have to select a source before you can type in anything. So in this case, and you can select one source or you can select up to 20 sources. So if, let's say you were doing a research project on artificial intelligence and you got 20 sources. Each one of the sources are under, it says 20 sources under 200,000 words. You could select all 20 and do an integrated analysis of all 20 sources. So one point that I want to say is this. If you go to the prompt box and you can't type anything into it, make sure you click a source. That, that's where I got stuck earlier today. So I'm going to click chapter 16 of this uh, marketing text, which is 14,000 words. And this is direct online social media and mobile marketing. So now that I've selected the source, I'm going to type in a prompt. Oh, let's go back to Notebook LM. It kind of tells you some of the things that you can do with it. Uh, some of the basic things is you can, you can ask it to summarize, create a study guide, and also outline your source material. And Notebook LM, here we go, study guide, outline, suggested related ideas. So summarize, study guide, suggest related ideas. Suggest, it, suggest related ideas, outline, summarize study guide. So you can, uh, the most, Notebook LM is designed primarily for the academic setting. Um, so college, high school, um, but also uh, professional settings or any situation where you want to isolate the document. So Notebook L, one of the main features of Notebook LM is that it's grounded in your sources. So it's not going to draw from outside material. It's only going to use your material, which is which is a very, uh, you know that you're not, you're not getting leakage from the outside world. So you know what your sources are. And this actually increases the, uh, the reliability of Notebook LM. So let's, let's try to do this. Summarize in, let's do this, in less than 100 words. Okay, here we go. So it gives me a summarize, uh, summarization. It says here, summarize in less than 100 words. That's my prompt. And what I also like about Notebook LM is that it gives citations. So we see here, citation one, this is where it got its discussion about mobile friendly emails. Two, and these are the so when you click the citation, it actually gives you the citation, but also gives you when you click it, it gives you where the citation, but also on the left side, it'll actually show you where it extracted the information. So, verification is one of the mechanisms uh, in place to help you verify. So there's, there's several, uh, I would say there's three things that increase the reliability of Notebook LM. One, it runs on Gemini, which is Google's most advanced AI. And I read their technical report, and one of the f uh, features that they really focused on and in terms of fine-tuning and refining was factuality and accuracy. So I read their discussion, so I knew that that was important to them. Another way to increase the accuracy of your chats, of your AI analysis is that you're using only sources that you select. So this comes up in frequent situations, okay? So I'm giving it sources, it's not drawing from outside sources, all right? So if I put in good sources, I'm gonna get good outputs, hopefully. But also with the citations, I can check its work. 
And these are the features of artificial intelligence. Uh, in the best of situations, uh, artificial intelligence works best when it collaborates with a human. So when a human and the artificial intelligence co uh, collaborate, the results are improved. This was actually noted in uh, when they used Gemini to do uh, uh, to become a co-generator, and have uh, they found that when the Gemini worked on its own, you know, it had a certain level of accuracy. But when it collaborated with humans, and the humans provided some uh, assistance with it, then the Gemini artificial intelligence produced even better results uh, with coding. So then, uh, going back to the conversation here, so let's close that. So you can, uh, if you really like the response, click good, or you can click bad, and that helps uh, improve the artificial intelligence. Here, you can copy the response, and then you can paste it uh, into a Word document. Um, on the bottom here are in the bottom here are you'll do related questions like what key ethical issues arise so sometimes they'll give you related questions to help you expand your analysis okay so down at the prompt box if you see this little carrot this is upside down looks like a little V this closes and opens the chat So in the prompt box, look in the uh, on the right side. This is important to know. Now, when you close it, you can add a note. So again, this is designed for uh, uh, academic settings like students. So I'm going to put here my first note. You can then add another note. Here, I'll put this in here. So you can also delete the notes. So this allows you to, you can save some of your, uh, you can save the responses that you like. You can write your own notes. And so then if you want to open up the chat again, you click this little arrow. So let's now do another one. Prepare a study guide. So on the Notebook LN website, they said you can use it for outlines, for summaries, uh, study guide, suggest related questions. So here we go, key concepts. Online direct marketing, social media marketing, mobile marketing, website marketing, ethical considerations. Click citations, and then here there's suggested um, I'd, I'd suggested questions. What are the key characteristics of successful mobile marketing strategy? What are some of the benefits of using social media marketing? Okay, I'm I'm interested in this first one. What are the key care? It'll, so it'll suggest uh, questions for further analysis. Key characteristics of a successful mobile marketing strategy are responsive design, mobile friendly emails, app development, memorable URLs. So you can ask questions about this page too. So that's uh, those are the basics. I would say the the uh, the main place where I got stuck is I just want to remind you to um, click your source before inputting your prompt because that's where I got stuck earlier today. That's my key takeaway.